Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this midnight blue party makeup. With the holiday season upon us, it's time to start thinking about your glamorous looks. This shimmery midnight blue would go with so many different outfits and it would be perfect for the Christmas season as well as New Year. So let's get on with the tutorial. I'm starting off with the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. This is great for my skin type because I'm combination to oily. However, if you are drier, then the compact balm version of the Silk Canvas Primer is gonna be more ideal for you. I will link both of those in the description bar for you. Moving on to foundation, I'm gonna be using the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Medium Coverage Foundation. This comes in 51 shades, it also has 20 plus skincare ingredients and I think this really does come across when you're wearing it because it does feel more like skincare and foundation as opposed to just a foundation, there's absolutely no drying effect with this foundation. It has the consistency of a light to medium coverage foundation but it has high pigment in it so it does give you that coverage and it's definitely buildable. I've done my eyebrows off screen and I'm gonna start with the eye makeup. This is the shade Clink Clink by MAC. It's part of their holiday collection. It's beautiful and I'm applying this liberally to the inner corner of the eye directly over the base makeup. So Clink Clink is a white eyeshadow with a multicolor rainbow pearl finish. When you turn your head ever so slightly, it gives off a very subtle blue vibe, which is perfect for this look. The makeup appears more complex than it actually is. We're taking a bronzer and running that through the socket to warm up this area. And then the rest of the work is just on the mobile lid, which is the part that moves, and then everything will blend into this bronzer. If you followed me for a while, you know I'm a massive fan of the iconic glaze crayons. And I'm pleased to say they've brought out some new shades. This one is called After Hours, which is a midnight blue. So starting off with the crayon side, we're gonna apply this from the eyelash line up to where the eye naturally creases, which is where it meets the bronzer. We're going to apply a layer of this first, and then we're gonna blend it with a brush and then go in with a second layer of the crayon. Applying it in a wash of color first means that you're sandwiching this together so it won't crease and it will stay in place until you remove it. What makes this look beginner friendly is that we are keeping it in the shape of our eyelid so it's ever so slightly more rounded and then on the outer edge and through the socket we're using the brush dipped into a little bit of the crayon and patting that in so it gives it a softer blend but it's not too much work for you. On the opposite side to the crayon we have the glaze, this is just divine, and I'm applying this over the top of the crayon that we've applied but I'm keeping it ever so slightly lower than the blended edge and then that way you won't need to try and blend this as well. So don't take it all the way up to the socket, just softly blend it with a dry brush into the crayon that you've already applied. Now I'm going back into the MAC Clink Clink shade, reapplying it on the very inner corner of the eye, and I'm also patting this on the very center of the mobile lid. This will create a bit of dimension so that when you move your head, the very center of your eyelid will catch the light, and this will make your lid space look bigger. This step's optional. I'm adding a little bit more of the glaze just between the inner corner of the eye and the center, just to redefine that blue shade. You'll see that this just gives a little bit more dimension, but again, it's completely optional. You can make it as easy as you want. You can, of course, make this a more complex look and wing it out and create a bit more of an almond shape. Usually that's my preference, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to create something that looks really complex, but is so easy to do. I received some new Stila Stay All Day graphic liners. This one is in the shade Jitterbug. This is a nice pop of color. It makes the eyes look a little bit different. However, you can apply a black or a navy. They would both equally work as well. The darker you go, the more smoky the finish. Underneath the waterline, I'm going back in with the Iconic London After Hours Crayon, and I'm using a brush to apply this just to smudge it underneath to frame the eye because I feel like it needs that when you're going for something so heavy on the top. Just don't forget to connect the outer corner of the top lid with the lower one so that it completely frames the eye. Next up is mascara. I'm using Climax by NARS. I'm only applying a very light layer on the top because I'm gonna be applying falsies and I'm going a little bit heavier on my lower eyelashes to balance the top. For false lashes today, I'm using my favorite Lash Base Pro FX. The style I've chosen is Full Glam, and I'm using a mix of medium, large, and small. The beauty of these is that you can cut them to your desired length. So for the large ones, I'm using quite a large section, which is easy to apply. And although these have been made to go underneath your top lashes, I'm actually applying them on top like a strip lash. Only these are much easier to apply than a strip because they are individual sections. 
So I've got large on the outer third, I have medium in the center and I have one small section on the very inner corner. And if you want to try them for yourself, use my discount code and I will link it all in the description bar for you. Next I'm going in with this concealer by Too Faced. I didn't take my foundation up underneath my eyes. If I know I'm gonna be applying concealer, then I tend not to layer the two because I don't want too much product here underneath my eyes. This is quite a heavy duty concealer in terms of it's really high pigment, so you only need a very light amount. To add some warmth to the skin, I'm taking the Nude Sticks Nudies Bondi Bay. This is a cream bronzer in a matte finish, and I absolutely love these. You have it in two shades. Terracotta Tan is the slightly warmer shade, and Bondi Bay is the ever so slightly cooler tone. I'm taking this down the sides of my nose to add some warmth rather than just shape, and I'm also gonna take it through the hollows of my cheekbones, blending upwards and around my hairline. Once I've applied and blended with the brush, I'm then gonna soften with my makeup sponge. This is a dampened sponge and it works really well with creams. It also has a little bit of residue left over from the foundation, which really works well when you're blending in your creams. If you haven't tried nude sticks before, you are missing out. Creams may seem intimidating, but I promise you once you try them, you will never go back. I've chosen this specifically for beginners because it really is such a easy product to work with. As you know, I've had a discount code with Nude Sticks for many, many years now. It has changed this year to a different code. If you want 10% off, use the code Shona Scott in the checkout on nudesticks.com. Again, they ship worldwide and to the UK. There may be a few countries they might not ship to, but when you get to the checkout, use that code and you'll get 10% off. You can see that when I'm using my brush, the blend is effortless. If you use powders over foundations that you've not set in place yet, it will definitely give you a patchy finish, whereas creams, you can do all of that before you even powder. And even with that being said, you can still use creams over powder if you use a stipple motion. You'll see me in a minute using a cream blush over a powder. So that's why I recommend them because they're really versatile. So now I'm going in with my sponge and pressing everything into place for a very natural finish. You can apply blush at this stage or you can powder and then do your blush. I prefer to powder then do my blush. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Finishing Powder. I'm using the LH Cosmetics Velour Puff just to press this over the skin. It will give me a nice matte finish but as my skin is combination oily, as the night goes on I will get a natural glow to my skin. If you are super oily you want to use a setting powder before a finishing powder because it is a little bit more heavy duty. The blush I'm going to be using today is the new Nude Sticks Matte Luxe in the shade Pretty Peach. So this is a cream to powder blush and it goes on so beautifully, especially with a stipple in motion. So you can see I've already powdered, but I'm still getting a beautiful blend. And again, if you want to try this formula, you can use my discount code. I always take my sponge and softly stipple over the beginning of my blush at the front of my cheeks to make sure there's no seams. And even though this is matte and it's cream to powder, it still gives this kind of soft glow so you don't need a highlighter. For lips, I wanted to keep it nice and simple because we have a lot going on in the eyes. So I'm using this Fizzy Feels Lip Balm in the shade Taste for Bubbles. This is so beautiful. It just goes on almost like your lip color, but when it hits the light, which it really doesn't do it justice in our studio lighting because it's quite flat, but in daylight, it looks so beautiful. It's super moisturizing and it just gives a sheer veil of twinkle. It said that it was sparkling wine scented, but I can't say I actually noticed that. To add a little bit more definition to the lips, I'm going in with Max Stone Lip Liner. It will initially look quite dark, but then I'm gonna soften it with a brush, and then this way the lips kind of won't just sink into the face. It will just add a little bit of definition to the lip line itself. So I'm taking a dry lip brush and softening that into the balm. My preference is to apply a lip liner after lipstick, but you can definitely do it before. And that completes my beginner friendly midnight blue party makeup. Don't forget I will list and link all the products I've used in the description bar along with any discount codes. Please tell me what you thought in the comment section below and give the tutorial a thumbs up because both of those really do help with the algorithm. If you have any questions also leave those below and I will do my best to get back to you. As always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!